What's up guys? My name is Wes, this is Peace Parts, back for another super awesome episode of this LED lighting stuff. And uh, if you like what we're doing here and you have not already, hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out any, on any new videos about this stuff as well as so much more cool Miata stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so jumping into it, the first thing I want to do is lay out all the tools and uh, components that I'm going to be using in this video to make these signals. And uh, first things first, we're going to start off with the LEDs. Now these I got from superbrightleds.com, super awesome website, they tell you everything you need to know about the LEDs, they've got a whole bunch of options on their sites for uh, component LEDs, which is what these are, or full kits, or you know strips. Uh, full custom lights, you know, anything you name it uh, in the world of LEDs, they probably got it. Um, so, those are the LEDs. Uh, I've got a pack of 100 right here and a pack of 150, uh, just because I ordered them at two different times. And I've got some resistors now. These are also from Superbright. They are a quarter watt, 470 ohm resistor. I've got 100 of those, two packs of 50. And those are going to be the main things that we need for the components. And next we're going to need uh, something to clip all the leads off when we poke them through. I'm um, just using this pair of flush cutters, a, some solder and a soldering iron. And I've got my board right here on my helping hand stand. If you don't have one of these, uh, you're missing out because these are so nice to have. They are really nice at keeping things in place where you want them. So I've got this elevated off a table right now. Makes it way easier to get to. And last but not least, it's nice to have a power source like this, especially adjustable, um, that you can do either an individual LED or the whole board together. Uh, so it's really nice to have one of these on hand. I'm going to jump in and start laying in some of these LEDs. And then once we get them placed where we want them, I'm going to refer back to my wiring diagram that we made in the last video. And then we're going to start bending the leads over, start throwing the resistors in and soldering everything together. So let's jump into it. Alright, so what I'm starting on here, this is going to be the uh, passenger side, um, so what I want is my running light, I'm going to start with that, uh, just since it's all one channel, I can just solder them all together, and uh, basically it's going to start with these three LEDs over here, uh, with these three are going to be connected, these three are going to get connected, and then this entire bottom row is all going to be connected into the same signal. So, my line is basically going to go right here, and then all the way down there, oops, all the way down to the bottom and uh, they're all going to be connected together. So just like we had in the wiring diagram, uh, like I showed in the last video, uh, these are all going to be connected to the same output. To start off with that, we're going to take our LEDs and poke them through this way so that the, uh, the leads are sticking up out of this side and then, then we can fold the leads over, put our resistors in where we need to and run through the whole panel. I didn't really have any black material to print with so I just printed them with blue uh, spray, spray paint at the front black so you don't see the blue inside the housing. Uh, pretty simple, but they can really be printed in any color. Um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. LEDs first, and then we'll get to the wiring, and from there. Oh, and another thing I want to mention, uh, if you guys are doing this, you probably already know this by now, um, but just about all LEDs, all LEDs I've seen anyway, that are uh, the through-hole type like this, this is a 5mm LED through hole style and uh, single color LEDs like this will come with two leads. Uh, one longer lead and one shorter lead. And the longer lead here is going to be your positive lead. So when we go back to our wiring diagram and we had all those pluses and minuses, the plus is going to be this longer lead. You can also look at them by the LED, you see how there's a flat side on this side right here, there's a little flat side. Now that is an indication of the negative terminal. However, in my experience, uh, it's been way easiest just to uh, go based off the length of the, LED, length of the leads instead. Uh, but when we start putting these in and bending the leads over, we are going to trim all these LEDs, all, all these leads down. So if we get all these trimmed down and then we forgot which one's which, then we, still, we know we still have that uh, flat spot on the bottom of the LED to determine which way is our, our polarity is.
All right, so now we've got a uh, we've got all the running lights poked through there, so you can see all the leads sticking up here. Um, it's kind of hard to see if you really break it up, you can uh, figure out where the circuits are going to be, and uh, you know where the parallel connections are going to be made. Um, from the back there, you can see they're not all 100% straight. They don't really need to be, as long as you got the plus and minus closely on the right side, then uh, should work just fine. So. That's kind of what we're gonna be working with. Now the next step is to uh, fold all the leads over into the configuration that we uh, developed in the first video and uh, then get ready to solder them together. And uh, we'll, basically what I'll, I usually do, try to do is fold the leads over to where they overlap and then I'll solder in between the two leads. And uh, this time we'll be adding in the resistors in the correct spaces. So I'm gonna do that now and uh, then we'll get back. All right, I got all of the leads in between for the series circuits. I got all those folded over, clipped off, and then soldered in place. Just a little dab of solder on each one is really all it needs, uh, so it's, it doesn't really take very long. And then I, along the top there, I ran all of the positive leads together since they're all going to be a shared positive or positive connection. And then all the grounds are what you see sticking out around the outside. Now I'm going to go through and lay in my resistors in between here and in between the grounds over there and solder those all together, test everything out. I tested all the, le all the LEDs individually here, I put two volts on my uh, uh, power source and ran through on each LED and made sure each one of them turned on in the correct order and everything's good so we can continue. So that's what we're going to do next is put the resistors in. All right, so we got the running light signal all, uh, or sorry, the running light panel all wired up now. We got all of our resistors in on the ground side. We got our positive lead right here, and the ground connections are all running around the outside. So if we plug this in here, put that there, and we'll just poke this to one of the negative. Uh, you can see just from the back of there that all the LEDs are lit up that we have put in there. Put this right here. There we go. We got all of the running light LEDs. And this right now, uh, my power supply is set up to 14.2 volts is what it's reading. Um, so we know that it should be good when it goes into the car. Perfect. All right, so we got the running light all together. Uh, we got every one of those lights turning on and working. Uh, that'll be our entire running light, uh, which It'll be the exact same as what I had before. It looks really awesome when the when it's installed in the car and working correctly. And uh, so, in an effort to keep these videos kind of shorter, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, and that'll be the end of this episode. But the end of next episode is when we'll actually have all of the rest of the turn signal panels put in together, and uh, then we'll be able to test all those out individually and see. And hopefully by then our ghost module should be in, and we can start trying to get some of the programming figured out and carry on and. Uh, get these things finished up to where we can actually start testing them on the car uh, because the sooner we can get them testing means the sooner I can get them to be uh, a product and actually be able to sell them to you guys if you're interested so um, if you're interested in what we're doing definitely make sure you subscribe and uh, if you're not interested in what we're doing however also subscribe because then after we get done doing this we got some other cool stuff we're gonna be doing so make sure you stick around and uh, uh, Stay tuned for those kind of videos. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. And uh, that's all I got for you this time. Thanks, guys. Peace out.